What's up Glam Squad, it's your girl Glamorous TT and today's video is going to be how I maintain my healthy hair with having PCOS. For those of you who are new to this channel, I have PCOS which is polycystic ovarian syndrome. One of my symptoms is thin hair. I have thin hair, I have a lot of shedding. If I was to run my fingers through my hair, um, I am going to have a lot of hair come out, you guys. Do not be afraid of what I'm about to show you guys. Please don't. Um, I see this on an everyday basis, but this is how much hair that comes out on a regular. For me to maintain beautiful, healthy, thick hair, I have to do extra sheets. Okay, you guys, I have to do beyond an extra I would go days without combing my hair I get extremely lazy because sometimes this hair don't behave and I don't know what to do with it I just brush it back in a ponytail and I will have a ponytail every day kid you not I will have a ponytail every day and not comb it and get locks and then I would have to comb it it's just a lot those of you guys who know me in real life if you know you know so I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of um, a little bit I'm gonna show you guys what I use in my hair to maintain it and to make sure that my edges don't get too thin because I do have really really thin edges whenever I get my hair done or get my hair braided I leave a lot of baby hair out just because I don't want it to get pulled I just don't want to be edgeless okay you guys I already have funny looking edges at it as it is your girl don't need to be out here with no edges okay this video is just going to be dedicated to the oils that I use in my head so the first set of oils is the Aunt Jackie's oils and this one is the coconut and almond and this one is the flaxseed and manoi but flaxseed is really good so when I saw it in this oil form I had to go get it and with oils all oils in general a little goes a long way you don't want to over oil your scalp because you can cause blockage when i tell you the coconut and sweet almond this is has to be the best smelling oil besides the oil i'm going to show next this has to be on my second um best smelling oil so the coconut and sweet almond is good for penetrating anti-proof formula smooths and shines dry rebellious stresses um no mineral oils no petroleum so that's good and the flaxseed is rich in omega-3 antioxidants to dramatically improve ha hair overall health and also no mineral oil no petroleum it has the um nozzles that you can close and tighten up and just a little demonstration I would open it a little bit and I would just like squeeze and just apply it where it's needed and for my edges I will pour a little bit on my tip and I would just massage it in as needed I know I said this video is just gonna be on oils but I'm just gonna show you the products right now that I've been using the next product is the Tahila Wajid it's just that they're a little bit on the pricier side you guys know that I always try to find a bargain I always try to find stuff that doesn't hurt my pockets but um, as you can see I got this when I went up in Florida the original price is about $5.99 I got it for $3.99 um, down here in St. Croix these products run about $10 to $12 so in all in all I saved big time is the Jamaican black castor oil in lemongrass so with the Jamaican castor oil I have a lot of varieties when it comes to the, the black Jamaican castor oil I have the coconut one I have the lavender one I have the original it is a true game changer as far as hair growth this crap will grow your hair fast and it also has antioxidant um, properties that help 
with like fungus, dandruff, dry scalp. You can also put it on your skin as well. With this, I try to at least apply all of the castor oil like two to three times a week. Um, it is very thick, so you, a little goes a long way. I don't wanna just go crazy with this in your scalp because your head will be greasy, your face will be greasy. Now this oil is the Cream of Nature Argan Oil and I usually use this when I'm doing hot oil treatments. If you guys don't know what a hot oil treatment is, basically when you warm some oil, it doesn't have to be hot. If it is hot, you're going to burn yourself and your hair. You just want to have this a little bit warm, put it on your scalp, you want to make sure it's drenched. Um, and you're gonna put on a shower cap um, if you don't want to warm it up yourself you could just put it on and then go underneath the dryer with the shower cap is up to you I usually just warm it up a little bit on my shower cap for like 30 30 minutes um, before I wash my hair and yeah that's like a um, a pre-wash a pre-wash kind of regimen and this basically helps with dry and damaged hair it also strengthens your hair as well with me like I said sometimes I go weeks and days without combing my hair so when I do finally comb it my hair is really really damaged to the point where I have bad split ends dry patches from you know when it had locked up um, and this it really works miracles because when I'm telling you sometimes my hair is so tangled I cannot comb it out but as soon as I um put this on with the shower cap it's it's a wrap the, the tangling process with this is so much easier you want to make sure that you oil your hair before you wash it always now the next two products are my last products i'm going to be showing you because this is my current hair regimen these products are like a love and hate relationship that i have with them it just I like it one day and I don't like it but right now it's what suits my hair and it's what's working for me and it is the Cantu conditioner and I said conditioner sorry this is the conditioning hair um, lotion and this one is the coconut oil um, mist and I just use these two after I deep condition, I use these two after I come out, dry my hair, just so I can at least detangle again. Comment down below if you guys want me to do a whole wash routine with you guys, just to show you how I wash my hair. Um, but this and this works ideal together. My only problem is if I'm styling my hair, I can't use this with my eco gel, which is really, really crazy. For some reason it clumps up and it just doesn't is it doesn't give what it's supposed to give at all like i said these two products detangling wise are my go-to and i know i told you guys that those two were my last products but as far as gel i use my eco styler which i've been using for years i love eco styling gel um i love it so much that i have to buy it by the tub now and yeah this usually lasts me about a year and a half which is awesome i love 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 eco styling gel and that concludes this video i hope you guys enjoyed it don't forget to like comment and subscribe and comment down below which products works best for you and which products you would like to see me try out um i'm always always looking for new hair products new natural hair um products speaking of which i need to don't don't recommend me nothing because I need to done off what I already have. So, yeah, I take that back. Please, please, please. You can tell me what you like, but don't refer me because knowing me, I would go get it even though I don't need it. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Peace.